Wake up, wake up. I got the champagne. We're gonna need it. Yeah, it's about that time. Your favorite street plugs are here to deliver. your girl key with another episode of champagne mornings where we give you a whole lot real early in the morning and you might need some champagne with it we're gonna start this episode like we do every day with a segment called it's too early for this key what you got for us all right so you know jamaicans and their food and their plants and stuff you don't fuck with them right their bone food yeah their food's fire <laughs> well this raccoon didn't get the memo and kept uh eating this jamaican man's mangoes Okay. In Florida. So he set the raccoon on fire. <laughs> and it's now being charged for it. Being charged for setting the raccoon on fire? Animal like, cruelty. But it's a wild animal that was invading it, his it, private space. Animal cruelty, bruh. You couldn't shoot it. You had to burn that nigga alive. So it's okay to shoot the raccoon, just not the I think you it. can't hunt raccoons. Like, can you hunt raccoons? He wasn't hunting. He was protecting his vegetation. That's true. They're trying to charge him. <laughs> in the video he's out he's very much out and it was hella funny to watch because I didn't understand shit he was saying but you could tell he was highly upset yeah I, I bet I'm not even gonna lie I I don't know if that was the right way to handle it like it's a wild animal wild animals roam everywhere this nigga set it on fire how did he do it did he use like a blowtorch it, I don't I understand what he's saying bruh I tried to figure out I couldn't understand it and the video I found literally only has him speaking and then the he recorders for like go three into seconds. too much detail about it either. Like, hey, he was chilling in his wife beater. That's all I know. And I understood the raccoon's not coming back. I bet it's not coming back. <laughs> so don't touch his jama- or his mango plant. I don't even like mangoes. Me neither. But I do know that um, Jamaicans are some of the best cooks. Oh my in the God, world. their food or is fire. Caribbean islands period let's just their say their food i know i was just caribbean. talking to somebody and i was like what's the like where have you had authentic caribbean food i was like well first off my sister was with a beige nigga every chance i got anytime his family cooked my i was sister, there please like that was Ask. extended family the one the benefits of your family being close you know facts the yeah. Shani can cook. Shani can cook her ass off, yo. Yeah. And you feel all the love she put in it with every bite. And oh, I used to be in heaven. Shani, if you're listening, can I get some jerk shrimp, please? And she said she'll teach some us. But every time I'm like in the kitchen with her, like she's I don't not know, teaching I just us. Get we're lost. talking. Yeah, I just get lost in conversation. And maybe I just don't have the natural Caribbean in me to make it taste as good as she does. Like, I don't not know. only do we not have the natural Caribbean, so I feel like it'll be a fail. When we're enjoying Shani, we're enjoying Shani, bruh. <laughs> we're kicking it. We're talking big shit. We're having big fun. But I do need a plate. Facts. So I know I never say anything for it's too early for this, but I had to add this article to it's too early for this you got it it's too early for this listen, oh this, shit. when you listen to why i added this you're gonna know why okay let's remember see. when we covered the referee um cutting making the boy cut his hair to do the wrestling match yeah we were all pissed at everybody that was around he's now filing a last lawsuit the referee, the referee is, is filing, filing a lawsuit, lawsuit? for a hundred thousand dollars for character defamation it was all facts what can you say because he has not been able to find work as a referee that sucks but it was all facts like that's recorded it's facts defamation is if i lie on your character if i tell the world you got aids and you don't like that's defamation mm-hmm. right us recording you and blasting you about your racist ways nigga if he wins this everybody should take that whole state's court fuck that he's filed the lawsuit and sent the lawsuits to t- 10 different people that he feel are like involved in the fact that he can't get work anymore was one of those the boy and his family no they didn't actually list the people but i would assume not because if it was that they would have yeah if they were any type of good reporters but isn't that ridiculous like you did what and you're trying to do what no you just made this dude cut off his dreads, which he should have never did anyway. But that's besides the point because you're the adult in the situation who was acting like an asshole. You and he's saying shit. that it's defamation of character because he thought it was actually against 
one of the rules. What so rule? What rule? What he rule, didn't even what? name the rule. He just says, and it, and it just says he thought it was part of the rules on um, haircuts. Like, and it's like, they don't is there even, any rules on haircuts? No, that's what the article, that's what the original article had said. Like, they don't even regulate your hair for wrestling. Why so, would they? It makes no valid sense. Exactly. I'm, like in certain sports, okay, you know, where you might not be able to wear it, like, like the jewelry rule, rule in basketball. But that makes sense. Compared to a jewelry rule in football. Like you can wear jewelry when you play football, but not when you play basketball. Yeah, you can you wear know? jewelry when you play football. Seems like that'd be very dangerous. Well, it's most of your jewelry is under the helmet. That's true. And anything that's not is not something that would injure you. You know? Touche. <laughs> but anyways, it was just funny. And then, um, in a little bit of just regular entertainment news, Vanessa Bryant is the wife of Kobe Bryant. You had to say that? Yes. I had to say that for anybody who might not know who just Vanessa Bryant is in general. Because Vanessa's a really common name. That's true. But so, Bryant's not a common last name. Bryant? If you say Vanessa Bryant, I'm automatically thinking Kobe Bryant. If you say Bryant in entertainment news... Okay. Well, anyways, Vanessa Bryant, she said... So there's an article out where she says that she's going to continue trying to have a baby until she has a boy. They can afford it. Why don't they just make the baby? Like, it's only, what, 10 bands to go to the doctors and make them put a boy in you? $10,000, that's it. Like, that was literally the next thing I was going to say. Like, there's no point when you're rich and keep trying for a boy or a girl. Just go to the doctors and have them pick you out some boys. Yeah, that's put all in you. you have to do is... It's, it's only, only like 10, 10 bands. He, he got caught cheating and got you a $4 million ring. Like, I'm pretty sure you can afford to pick some boys out. Like, right, right. Understand. You can have multiple. You want to set a twin boys? Right? Go handle <laughs> that real want? quick. Like, I'm that, confused why right. you're going to keep trying. Maybe that's her way of getting hella kids. Like, you know, when the wife wants hella kids and the husband doesn't, she demands that she just do that it naturally. Gets. Yeah. So now she's going to have a squad of like 12 girls. Kobe Bryant's going to be pissed because now he got to afford 12 girls and Rich as you are, nigga, 12 girls still a lot because that's going to be 12 spoiled girls. Very spoiled. Hella spoiled girls. Facts. Because obviously his wife alone is, is spoiled. Not spoiled enough to go pick out some boys, though. Well, he's the one who wants the boys. And she just said she'll just keep trying. So basically she's saying if he wants to keep trying for babies, Maybe he'll I'll listen to us. Hey, share this so it goes viral. So Kobe knows that he don't got to get trapped with 12 girls before he gets his junior. Help Kobe. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead and play you guys some music. We're going to get into our show. Appreciate you tapping into Champagne Mornings episode 51 because we just celebrated our 50th episode last week. It was so fun. We had a lot of fun. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you do. It's on the Street Blood it's DJ's page hilarious. on Facebook. Um, we had Roddy Mac there with us. We had Flo with us. We had Jig with us. And we had Hannah with us. And... We had a lot of fun, basically. Hella fun. I was pretty lit. Facts. So uh, make sure you guys continue to tap in. I'm going to go ahead and play this song for you. The name of the song that I'm going to play for you is called Celestial. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2019 yeah. shit, man. We popping shit all year long, nigga. We going to keep with shit. Yeah. Dream country. Shout out, man. Shout out, Kill. Man, it's me, man. Man, come on with the intro, please, bro. This my introduction in 2019 to the new year. Ain't no resolution. My people just want some new gear. Wild young niggas be thugging. Ain't nothing to do here. Shout out to YB Booster, Splash, and CML Trill. Lil' Tracy going in with the verses. So is Mac J. Wu been going crazy with money, but so is Mac Trey. I'ma be like me to you niggas. And I got Drake, but mine got an O at the end. That's the new K. I ain't gonna explain to the pussy. I'ma slug it out. You can catch me laid in your bushes like I'm hanging out. Win, lose, or draw, I'm a soldier. And I won't quit. But if my time up, I'ma go out not on some dumb shit. Kids have been a champ. I remember when we were so cold. 319 your label. It's love. Shout out to Tino. Fest to fucking with me. I'm with a schizo and PZ2. I'ma keep my cool and say fuck them. I love my freedom too. Niggas chasing clout. What I'm chasing, I'm trying to split with you. Migo got a story to tell. That's what you listening to. Seen so many shine on my ground while the people think we sleep. Thugging all in public, my niggas, that's called HBE. Watching for the haters and snake while I'm wishing on the star. Playing possum on the moving slow like I was on the bar. Pillar talking crazy, but niggas be quick to shoot a shot. Smooth operator be moving like I control the spot. HBE shit, nigga. 
Smooth operator be moving like I control the spot. Smooth operator be moving like I control the spot. Smooth operator be moving like I control the spot. Nigga, yeah. yeah. Smooth operator, be moving like I control the spot. I'm wishing on the star. I'm praying for a bridge. You dreaming about a car. You tricking on a bitch. I'm stuck between hope shit. So I gave them dope shit. I guess I'm a straight dog. Cause niggas said they go. 44 like potus. Nigga, I'm so potent. I don't like these niggas. Get, get that boy a rope slit. I want to get high tonight. Nobody needs to die tonight. Me and Kissel back again. Good times dynamite. Yeah, this that 731 shit. Niggas want that dumb shit. So I'ma get them crunk, bitch. Music conversation. These niggas debating, say it louder for the niggas in the back, hey, eh, give me my respect while I, I run these bands up, do I got a problem with these niggas going next them, Camaro, it's blue, no SS, but I passed them, Range Rover, all white, guess who's left, and to the bank, but I don't make no withdrawals, I got them pissed off, I got this bitch draws, take three, do they hate me, maybe, shout out my nigga, Q me go in the HBE, heartbreak kid, Sweet chin music. I ain't fucking with these niggas. F in music. They are not speaking my language. They are not fluent. I got so many charges. Square them out, congruent. Big up to my lawyer. All my charges dismissed. Why the fuck you with me? Get out my business. Come my Kazi style. Don't leave no witness. Kill them all. While I kill this. Don't give a fuck how much you hate. You gotta feel this. Me and my niggas came up with all this realness. I got so much shade in my room, but I won't spill it. Got your bitch feeling cap a niggas cause she kneeling. You're sadly mistaken, nigga. Why the fuck you hating, nigga? I don't want no bacon, nigga. I said I'm a lakin', nigga. No, I'm not a Muslim, nigga. Cross them over sugar, nigga. You niggas can see me even if you pay to book me, nigga. Yeah, you overlook me, nigga. Probably got you shookin', nigga. I don't give a fuck if that's your cookie. It's tookin', nigga. You say you the real, but you just a pussy, nigga. Who that that took out that on that beat? I see you looking, nigga. Who did that take out there on that beat? I see you licking nick. <laughs> So let me talk my shit. It's Castellano, Mr. I can get you hit. This K clip look like a common Nostradamus, how I prophesy. Strategize every move made, make sure you profit. And before you make a move with that K, make sure you cock it. If I get on, I'm never looking back. It's hard, but I ain't cooking crack. It's like God gave me a heart, but then he took it back. Ten man, I've been saying them niggas ain't gon' ride. And if they take me out, them niggas ain't gon' slide. So it's just me and I. One D, two clubs, three minutes to find my way out. If I don't sleep three weeks, I probably could grind my way out of this hell hole I grew up in. Escape from all the trauma, try and live above the water. But I'm swimming with piranhas, Michael Phelps, I'm backstroke with it, trap, I'm back dope with it, with the flow, I'm something like the goat with it, two, three, do you and I'ma do me cause I'm good at it, toss me with the lions, I bring food back, like what can you do with that, shit, nothing if we don't let you eat, I know you see the police killing niggas every day, but you won't never speak, can't say that I won't, can't say that I don't, I pray that I won't catch a hollow, try and save all my folk, so stay woke, can't see the forest, all the trees in the way, they be like, yo, I think the leaves in the way, they follow me because I'm leading the way, straight into paradise, and if you want that money then you just gonna have to sacrifice the time for it because the rich keep getting richer the blind leading the blind like they can't see the bigger picture i drop pain in my rhymes but for me ain't no prescription i just smoke to ease my mind while meditating to break connection it's simple with my mind body and soul i manifest it if it's meant for me to find a pot of gold then i'ma get it and if we ain't start together nigga we ain't gonna never eat we won together when i was broke my nigga we ain't gonna never beat never beat never beat Again, that was Celestial by Mac, Q Meagle, and Kizzle Castellano. I love the sample in that. I do too. Like, literally. That's one of those that is going to stick with me. I'm glad it's on Street Plug Radio. Make sure you guys always tap into Street Plug Radio. If you're listening to us live, you know that it's on Tune In, the app. All you got to do is search Street Plug Radio. If you're catching this afterwards on Facebook, YouTube, or wherever you happen to be listening to it from, SoundCloud or whatever, um, download, tune in, search Street Plug Radio. We got music spinning for you all day. And of course, our morning show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 a.m. Um, so, first topic that we have for today's show is should men be able to opt out of fatherhood? 
Now, this was a post that I seen from one of Key's friends on Facebook where she shared an article from Vice. And that was the title of the article. I seen that. We've had that discussion. I don't think it was me and her. I think it was me and the other Kiana that had that conversation. Mm -hmm. But I think they should. If a dude accidentally gets a female pregnant, the female doesn't want the with or without the dude's consent, she can still end that pregnancy, which she should be able to, you know? I completely Facts. agree she should be able to. But I also think there should be a time span. Like, he shouldn't be able to drag it out or whatever. Like, she has to make that decision damn near immediate to be able to get that to happen, you know? Well, not anymore because remember we did the research earlier. Oh, and this she can go to like twenty six weeks. Find huh? out and found out that up till now, like they changed a lot of the abortion rules in most of the United States, and until the baby can live by itself outside of the womb, you can have an abortion. So before it used to be like you had to have an abortion before twelve weeks. Mm -hmm. Now with that new rule, a baby can't live until it's about twenty six weeks 26 or 27 weeks so until that point you can have an abortion now yeah well i just feel like they should have an opt-out for the father if he tells you he doesn't want that child and you proceed you're kind of doing it knowing you're going to be a single mother right and so this uh the article it had actually came from a michigan man who basically was suing the state because they were trying to get him for um, child support for the baby and in his argument he said when a child is unplanned men should have an equivalent right to a woman's right to an abortion I do agree I agree too but then it's like in application what does that look like I know that would be hard to prove because what about the dudes that was like who did it like who didn't take any of the precautions who had the baby you hear about niggas telling bitches you're gonna have my baby and then when the baby comes dang shit like no it's not fair. And and then that's that's the biggest part. It's it, to what extent. So like and then you have, well, if he opts out of fatherhood, then I feel like if you're gonna opt out of fatherhood, then you should opt out of contact, period. It should be basically like a no contact order. Yeah, I do like, agree. You if you shouldn't I mean? be if able to gonna... pop in and be like, Hey, I'm your dad and fuck with that kid's right. mental. But at the same time the mom shouldn't be able to slander the male who decided that he wanted to opt out in the beginning as well. Also, my biggest thing on opting out and not having that father, though, takes it back to, I think I only think about shit like this because how big of our family is, mm -hmm. is that other side of the family that your kid now shares DNA with and don't know. Like, we've known people who accidentally almost started talking to relatives. Nigga, we know somebody almost started talking to their sister because they didn't know the opposite side of the family. Like... Mm -hmm. That's that part would cause problems right there. If there's a no contact, no anything. Genealogy problems. Yeah. I can understand that too. That that does place a big Like that's issue where my it. because you shouldn't if if they're gonna opt out, then you shouldn't be able to say anything about who they are either. Exactly. So but how do you do that? that? Especially places like Washington where everybody's fucking related. Mm -hmm. Jim Lil said, um, I don't know too many variables. If There's Brad just dancing in the rain with no coat willingly, I don't really feel like he should be able to because, bro, you knew what the fuck you was but doing she knew what and she risked was doing. the consequences. A condom breaking and he stops, but she still gets prego. That's debatable. If she set him, up, set him up poking holes in condoms, it's sad for the baby, but yeah, he should have a choice. Now, That's almost impossible to prove. Yeah, but, I mean, when you get into the conversation of girls trapping dudes and dudes trapping girls. Dudes trap more girls than girls trap dudes. I personally know more dudes who've trapped girls. Than girls who's trapped than dudes. Than girls who's trapped dudes. Than I dudes. know a couple girls that's trapped dudes, but I know multiple dudes who have attempted or successfully trapped the bitch. And then didn't even want her. They just wanted that access to her forever. Like, I've heard dudes say that. Mm -hmm. I've had, I've, I've, dudes are usually quick to admit that they trap girls aren't usually quick to admit that they trapped. Like, usually when you find out that a girl trapped a dude, you find out from their friend who told. Mm -hmm. Dudes will tell you out their own mouth. Like, yeah, I trapped that. Yeah, I definitely trapped her. I got her pregnant on purpose, whatever the case I don't want her to sit her ass down. I've heard that so many times. Yep. You Vince said that you literally can't force someone to parent. It's not worth it, man or woman. And then I had to bring up the fact that, well, you know, opting out of fatherhood is not just not being there, but, but that's also child, like support. child support that you'd be responsible for. 
Mary, she said, it took two people to lay down together to make the child. He sure didn't opt out at that moment. Besides, how are you going to tell the kid one day that when they're grown, oh, yeah, I let your dad opt out of fatherhood? Well, it wouldn't be a let your dad. Your dad one. opted out. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not my call. And just like when kids are aborted, she laid down and made that decision, and she decided she couldn't live with those consequences. Like, not every con- a child should not be a consequence. That's why we have kids in foster care systems. That's why we have these babies that are abused, these babies that are murdered, because you guys see, treat pregnancy like a consequence. If they're not going to provide the best care for that child, then it doesn't need to be here. Let's be realistic. And anyone that disagrees needs to go adopt at least two kids from the foster care system that's overflowing right now. Mm-hmm. And I said that a female can opt out by way of abortion, so why not? And she said that she doesn't agree with that. Tiffany hopped on and said not all sex has to lead to a baby. I mean, if she's going to raise a child on her own and decide that she will, then she should be able to do it financially as well. Fact. Now, that's something that I believe. Like, if I'm going to have a baby, I'm not going to just put you on child support. just To be petty just or just because you existed. Like, right. I decided to have this baby knowing you wasn't shit. Right. And now, I feel so- bad for the girls who thought their dude was shit like they were in relationships and then dude turned out not to be shit that's fucked up right and then uh Brittany Bowen said she believes that they should be able to it's better than forcing someone who don't want to be a father to be a father because it won't work regardless of how they got there and that's one thing too because um I personally have a family member who basically like tries to force the father to father yeah. And it's just so much energy when I watch her put it out that I'm like, why? Like, you know what I mean? And it hurts her more than anybody. You can take my first baby's dad. Take him. He show up every other weekend. <laughs> like, like he calls sometimes, too. <laughs> Man, your face when I never hit your phone, you like, King David. <laughs> you, you, you feel like talking on the phone. Like, yeah. So... Darren says no, unless that was the deal from the jump, but he has seen that before. I think I need more details on that. I need that answer. Darren, we'll be calling you later. Right. Um, I feel like it would probably, people, I don't know, I feel like people uh, bash deadbeat dads, but don't realize that they are most times, like a lot of deadbeat dads are forced to become fathers because she didn't want the abortion. I've known a nigga who's told their bitch, I don't want the kid, have an abortion. The bitch was like, no, I'm having the kid, and then was surprised when he was a deadbeat. Nigga, he told you he didn't want the shit. Yeah, he told you he didn't want no kids, but then there's sometimes where people, I don't know if, like, sometimes they don't know that they wouldn't be good parents either. Because there's a lot of people who feel like just being in the same household with that parents makes them a good parent. You're handling your obligation. Mm -mm. Like, no, if you're not spending time and pouring life into that child, and if you're not there positively, like there's a lot of people who are in abusive relationships with both parents there. That don't mean staying in that relationship is the best thing for the child to do. I know people who uh, wish their parents would just break up. Like I know people who wish their child, their parents would break up because of shit like that abuse or it's just not healthy. They may not be straight abuse, but it's arguments every day and things of that nature. Right. And... That was just, I, I thought that was a little interesting one. I was glad that she posted that. I was like, hmm, this is, this is kind of Yo, a, a good little given, conversation. That's all the topics. You know? Um, she has asked for an unpopular opinion before. I don't She's think asked I know for another multiple one. Some of the ones you be throwing opinion. up Yeah, hers. the ones that just randomly come and you have nothing about. They be hers. A lot of the ones where it's like, listener requests be hers. And then certain things I'll just text you with random. Like, hey, let's talk about this. Or I'll hit you like, let's talk about this. That'd be her. So Tiff's Kiana's content provider. Shout out to Tiff. I appreciate you on your role. Not in all of them, <laughs> <laughs> but she be we be sitting there talking about shit, and I'd be like, "Ooh, this would be a good one." But you got to know Tiff and me's friendship that we'll have the most random fucking conversation. Right, and we drive content from everywhere, so that's dope. I but we're not friends right you. now. Oh yeah, all of that. Yeah. So um, I felt like there was no way we were going to do our first episode without a segment of "Fuck the Police." Of course not. Fuck him. Fuck him. So, a man convicted in 1982 <laughs> for rape in Louisiana's capital city walked free after being in jail for 35 plus years. His How name much did he get paid? Williams. Nothing. What? Yeah. He didn't His get paid anything. Um, he, it wasn't lawyers that got him freed. It was a group of people. They call themselves the Innocence Project, and they worked to freely um, to free wrongly convicted defendants. Now, first off, when I was reading this article, 
that just came out a couple days ago, I was really like, okay, first off, for this innocent project to free people who were innocent, they already know they're innocent. Mm -hmm. So how the hell can this group of volunteers be able to say that, you know, a person's innocent or not, and this whole panel of judges and cops and jury convicted you? We know that all the time, where they have still fucking evidence of that South person and they still get convicted. Facts. Like so, that shit. so you have a, a group of volunteers can can work to get this person free because they know they're innocent, but you guys decide, and that just goes to show right there that I wanted to point out is how corrupted our judicial system is. He had an alibi, but he was picked up out of the lineup only after the third time was he picked up out that uh well maybe because they seen the nigga three times in there right now he's become a familiar face they might be like well yeah that 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 nigga looks familiar you know so that's a problem and then guess what got him released the fingerprints didn't match the the innocence project got the fbi to rerun the fingertips um, fingerprints and the fingerprints came back with a match this time after 35 plus years. So because the fingerprints didn't match anything, he was the one charged. So you guys convicted him knowing he wasn't that the person. his fingerprints didn't even match. Because they weren't a match at all in the system at all. Literally. There wasn't a match. So you, you have his and you know that his don't match. But you guys convicted him and he spent all this time probably half his life over half his life in jail at this point he was there for like 35 years you said that's what i'm saying fuck the police fuck the police part two jamal true love spent eight years in prison for a murder now he recently he was framed he recently proved that he was framed he'll actually receive 13.1 million dollar settlement for emotional distress trauma and humiliation um he was an i love new york 2 contestant who was convicted of killing his friend in 2007, Jamal Trulove. He was convicted of killing his friend in 2007. The police manipulated witnesses, fabricated evidence, and concealed information that would prove him innocent. So this, remember, just a couple days ago on Facebook, I had posted, if it doesn't fit your story, eliminate it. Mm -hmm. They were eliminated. This is one of those situations. They eliminated evidence, or they eliminated evidence that he wasn't there and that he that could have proved him innocent because it didn't fit their story that he was innocent and to be able to convict yo the police ain't shit i'm trying to tell you it don't make no sense how they do it they literally so the police set that man up Mm -hmm. and then the four officers they retired and they will not receive discipline in this case did you expect them to no but that just goes to show again why Fuck the police is a segment for our show. For all the doubters and naysayers. Fuck them. They're not for us. How many how many examples of showing them you're they're not for us before you believe it? Ain't y'all the ones that love saying if somebody shows you who they are, believe them the first time? What about the hundredth time? What about the thousandth time? What about after years and years and years of this shit daily? There's enough bullshit that goes on that fuck the police could be a segment every day. And we don't do it every day. And we don't do it every day. We just make sure it has a great effect on your thought process when we do do it. On other news, though, I'm going to hijack your segment real quick. And I was going to say this for unpopular opinion, but we can throw it at the end of Fuck the Police. This dude goes on a high-speed chase with the police, right? Mm -hmm. White dude, clearly. Gets out the car and starts breakdancing. What? Gets out the car and starts break dancing and starts break dancing in front of the police with the helicopters on him. I'm surprised that they he's didn't. He's white. Uh, oh, he's white. Okay. He's clearly white. I was about to say I'm surprised that the police didn't say um, he he had a gun. Erratically. Yeah. <laughs> he acted. He started acting erratically, and we shot him because we didn't know what to expect or some something dumb like I that. I thought that was hella funny though, and. I bet they were pissed. He was just over there breakdancing. Like he, he knew he was going to jail. Whatever he, whatever y'all think he did, he did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so figured we'd end fuck the police on some light news of people saying fuck the police to their face, because that's literally saying fuck the police to their face. They try uh, to arrest you and you start breakdancing, nigga. 
back. So I'm going to go ahead and end this segment of Fuck the Police with a song about drug dealing because he sure, why not? Let's go. Let's go. Check by Big Dog Jazz. Never been a broke nigga. Never been a hoe nigga. Come run from niggas dying every day. You ain't nothing getting told nigga. These niggas be lying on me. These bitches be lying on me. Told them what the fuck they gon' hate us. Be crazy, even go talk down on us. I just wanna change. 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 I just wanna Switch up my style on me. They hate so I smile on me. Trapping at the trap till the spot got hit. No cottage ran down on us. Girl got cocaine stuffed in us. Fucking her friend with another mistress. Baby ain't nothing like the mother niggas. Hope you ain't nothing like the other bitches. Thousand ground mounts at the trap house. Hit the whole apron at the trap house. All I seen was scales. People around me going to jail. Everybody got a gun now. Dripping ain't bubbles look good on you. Charge all gray in the hood on it. And diamonds came out last week, swear to God, I had my whole east side hood on it. Ne- ne- never been a broke nigga, never been a hoe nigga. Come where I'm from, niggas dying every day, you ain't nothing getting told nigga. These niggas be lying on me, these bitches be lying on me. Told them what the fuck, they gon' hate us, be fans, even go talk down on us. I just wanna check, 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 cause I could never be a broke nigga, no, no. These niggas ain't real, they don't give a fuck how I feel, they don't want my brother a pill. I pull a four pop a pill, this pain I got can't be healed, it's too concealed, these niggas can't be with me. These niggas ain't street niggas, they ain't been off in a trap house, mask up in a jack house, breaking down, weighing out ounces. I just wanna check, I just wanna stack up my racks, I don't wanna have to flip packs, I don't wanna stack in and flip it, don't wanna rap in and ship it, I don't wanna sit in a trap, these niggas be lying on me, these niggas ain't my homie, these niggas ain't my homie. they have not been around me for centuries, they have not been down in the trenches, never been a broke nigga, never been a ho nigga, come run from niggas dying every day, you ain't nothing get told nigga, these niggas be lying on me, these bitches be lying on me, told them what the fuck, they gon' hate us, be trans, even go talk down on us, I just wanna check, 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 cause I could never be a broke nigga, no, no, never be a hoe nigga, come run from niggas dying every day, you ain't nothing get told nigga. Again, that was Check by Big Dog Jazz. He's been tapped in with us heavy. Appreciate you. And the song's fire. He has played it out. I heard the song and I loved it immediately. She's literally played the song out. Like, I love the song still, so I can't really say it's played out. But, nigga, anytime you've been in the car with Bia, if she's on music, you heard that. Because it's on my playlist. No, nigga, because you went and found it. (laughs) Yeah, it's on my playlist. I didn't, and actually didn't find it. It got sent to me. True. She just be liking saying stuff. Just making stuff up, damn. No, nigga, you play it. You find that first. No, I don't. It's on my playlist. But um, we're going to go ahead and close this out. Before we close this out, I wanted to do a segment of Flo Said. I was reading an article. A segment of Flo Said. (laughs) Because a segment of Flo Said means what? Relationship shit. Family first. An article from a site called Thought Catalog says, stay single until you love someone without losing yourself. Mm. The love that you have towards this person makes you find your own self instead of making you feel lost. You love deeply, but don't love your own well, or you love deeply, but don't lose your own well-being. You have no expectations, but you realize and know the signs if they were taking you for granted. The love that you have isn't blind. You're brave enough to leave. You never forget the importance of self-love. Hey, females really need to hear that. 
Like, I'm going to need all females to go ahead and clip, cut that clip she just read or go find that article wherever she found it. It's an and, article from a site called Thought Catalog. And read it multiple times because you guys dead ass lose yourself in dudes. You allow the bare minimum. Him to acknowledge your existence and fuck you every so often. And you guys I've been be there. staying in relationships where it's not healthy. I've definitely, You've been, definitely there been there where I've lost myself and I was looking like I didn't even recognize myself. Like I didn't even recognize my character and my energy. So it definitely happened. It happened. And, and I'm wasn't... not talking down on them for doing it. I'm just saying you guys deserve better. You Facts. deserve to know who you are. You deserve to love yourself enough to not pull up, put up with bare minimum. Quit being treated like a second class citizen in your relationship. Right. And I, and I think one of the biggest things that I pulled out of this is being brave enough to leave because you find in a lot of people like that's the thing that scares them the change the of not knowing what lies ahead being brave enough to actually leave whether it be because of how you think he's gonna act or how you think you're gonna be able to go on further what plans you had and how they may be altered because I had all type of plans my plans ain't really changed they've been altered but slightly you know what I it's mean? made it different plans. it's it's definitely made a difference from the plans back then to the plans now knowing you having spoke with you knowing your plans and all that to an extent like I, I still plan on doing everything with my house the same way that I planned on doing it before you know what I mean I, I might have to change the location of my vacation house that's about it you know other than that the main goals is still there you know? No, that's fact. But, so they've been altered more than changed. But it's still it's still being brave enough for some people who some people aren't strong enough. The strength of being alone is a problem. That's what I was gonna say. Brave the most common one I see is they don't wanna be alone. They're scared they're not gonna find anyone after them. And then I'd be trying to explain to them, like, before you knew him you were fine. You were happy, you were bubbly. You knew yourself, and you probably had other niggas. You pulled him. You can pull the next one, baby. Don't and be okay being alone. Maybe be okay being alone. This is the part where Flo probably would tell me to stop giving advice, but he's not here to tell me. So hey, Flo says <laughs> you called to segment of Flo says, so you stick with Flo says. Flo says, but this is the thing though. Bitches be hyping up they homegirls who ain't shit. Like you be telling them you deserve better. Like what? Do, what did they do? to deserve better. Not all bitches deserve better. Not all bitches can get better. Not all females deserve better. Not all females can get better. Sometimes hey, you, know, that's you might be way. given your, your girl advice based off of yourself maybe, or self worth that even you might not actually deserve. Like just because they're your friend does not mean they deserve better. That's they deserve. Thought. Everyone deserves to be happy. You don't agree with that? Do they deserve to be happy? Are they creating other people's miseries? Exactly. They could be. If you're creating other people's miseries, why do? Why should you be happy? That's valid. Fuck your happiness. You said fuck theirs. Exactly. And this is why you stick with Flo says. You didn't Flo listen. You first. failed. You've At already failed. At the beginning failed. and the end. Family first. At the Flo beginning said. and the end. You got a black business to shout out. Let's get out of here. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't just gonna. I'm telling Flo. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, let I, me get my black businesses up. I actually did find a black business Then why um, you asking me? Because you might have had one already. We can shout out more than one. True. Um, there is a black owned product that makes chemical free hair coloring fun and safe for children. That is black owned. Electra Davis is the founder of Mystique Naturals. It's spelled M Y S T E E K. Mystique Naturals. It's a chemical free hair color product that's become pretty popular for children. Is it temporary hair color? Yes, it would be temporary. Your dye. kid will love that. Mm -hmm. My kid gets permanent dye though, too. Right, but if he could change it more often. Yeah, there's no need for developer, rinsing, bleach, pre lightening chemical dyes, whatever. It comes in blue, pink, turquoise, red, purple, maroon, green, fuchsia, auburn, and more. Your kid would love if he could just pop up at school with another. He'd be in your face every other day trying to get his hair color changed. 
he does it enough. We don't need this. But he needs for all it. I'm getting kids him some. Who don't want to do permanent dye. There's no point when he gets it his professionally done. You're like actually trying to downgrade his life right now. No, but he'd love the hair color changes all the he time. He gets hair color changes all the time. Like once a year. If he could do it every like two weeks, he'd be pumped. Match his outfit. Mom, I got these new shoes. Let's go blue. Okay. Um, do you have another business to shout out? Nah, I didn't even look. All right. That's it for today's episode of Champagne Mornings. Appreciate you guys. And make sure you guys tap in again Wednesday at 7 a.m.